All right, you guys, again, the teacher, episode eight. Uh, yep, correct, eight. Now, before I, I get started, I just have to say this because apparently some of you still don't have a, a clue. Bitch, I'm talking through these videos. If you have a problem with it, kindly exit stage left, sweetie. Mute my ass or do whatever you have to do, honey. Because she's going to be talking, sweetie. So if you have a problem with it, oh, well, kiss my ass. <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you to do about the situation, honey. Now, now that that's out the fucking way. Back to my story, okay. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Um, just go over and say hi. Cause you don't know if you know your ass. Okay, I'll just go over and say hi to him casually. Oh, he's getting up. This is my chance. Oh, he's cute on um, the character. He look kind of tall, don't he? Shit. Hi, Will. Mia. <laughs> it took him a few seconds <laughs> before he realized who was talking to him. Oh, well, his skin felt so soft against mine, just like I remembered it. Okay, <laughs> but his scent had changed. Okay, <laughs> what the hell? He no longer smelled of sweat in old lunch boxes. Oh, damn, his perfume smelled musky and zesty. <laughs> so he used to stink, girl, you used to like his stink <laughs> Hell no, his breath smelled like peppermint from the gum he was chewing. Hopefully, girl. Mia, you sound so surprised. Did you forget I live here in Woodstock? Of course not. I, I just didn't know if you still lived here. I didn't want to get my hopes up too high. I can't believe it's you. It's really you. What are you doing here, Will? Well, I'm just finishing senior year here. Wait, are you serious? Are you going to graduate here with me? Yeah, you know, my dad was offered a higher position in the firm he worked. <laughs> and back when we had moved, yeah, I remember it had something to do with that. Yeah, well, he kind of got sick of being there and my mom really missed Woodstock. So he called his old boss here and simply asked to get his old position back. And he did. He would be happily, wait, he, he would happily get him back since uh, they were all really sad to see him leave, okay, for their, from their department in Washington. That's amazing, Well, I'm so happy to see you again. A huge shiver. Oh my god, girl. Ran down my neck as we made eye contact, girl. You you in this damn shivering, girl. You need to put a goddamn jacket on, bitch. We just stood there smiling at each other. Uh, just still shocked to see each other again. He looked at me from head to toe and slowly moved his way back up to my eyes. He wet his lips. I hate that shit just sounds so gross. He licked his lips and smiled to himself, running his hands through his messy dark hair. I bit my lip. He looked like a younger Johnny Depp. Mmm. Okay, girl. <laughs> Actually, he looked like Miguel, bitch, from that, that little, you know, exclusive clip you just showed us. He has changed so much. Uh, flirt with him, girl. You, you know, you've grown up. You look really good, well. I swallow unsure of how to, how he react to my compliment. I was kind of flirting with him. And I bet he could feel that. You've definitely grown up too, Mia. You're not <laughs> a little girl anymore. You're beautiful. He reminded, he returned the, comp the compliment and I felt my heart rate increasing. I don't look like... Wait, I mean, you don't look like weirdo wheel anymore for sure. What happened to your glasses? And your blue grandpa vest. <laughs> nope. I was not going to go through high school as him. So I got rid of those. I see you also got rid of your braces and braided a signature pigtail. 
Oh God, I, told, I totally forgot about my red pigtails. My dad tried his best, okay? And what about your floral cowgirl boots? <laughs> Do you remember those? Oh God, they were. Hey, don't hate on the boots. I love those boots. I cried when I grew, outgrew them. <laughs> my teachers will always smile sympathetically at me every day when I got to class. My dad tried his best to dress me and do my hair like mom did. Looking back at old pictures today, I could see he felt miserable. <laughs> Damn. And I, and I always looked like bubbles in the crowd. <laughs> Had puked over me. Hell no. But what can you expect from a eccentric guy who writes about killer lamps for a living? Hell no. Ugh, thank you for reminding me. Now I'm going to have my nightmares again. It's so good to see you again, Butterfly. I let out a small gasp as he called me Butterfly. Instantly flashed back to where it all began. 11 years. <laughs> back to April of 2005, girl. Girl. I was 8 years old and Will was 9. Oh, okay, wait, wait, hey, hey, turn up. <laughs> Brooklyn Botanic Garden, April in 2005. My dad and Will's parents had arranged for us to go visit Brooklyn, the, 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 the goddamn garden, um, so that we could see all the cherry blossom trees. Coming to think about it, it's almost like, well, it's almost exactly 11 years ago when we were there. Next week, actually. Will, come on, you don't have to pick up every bug you find. Just a second. Will and I ran ahead while our parents talked. Why do you want to touch those bugs? They're all, they're gross. They're not gross. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are, Will. Okay, how about butterflies then? Do you think they're gross too? No, butterflies are pretty. I actually have one right here in my hand. Here, you can hold it if you want. Can I? Thank you. Ooh, a spider. Oh my God, I would have killed. I would have threw that fucking spider in his fucking face. Wait, Mia, you forgot your spider. You made him angry. He's coming after you now. Ew, go away, Will. Don't you come near me with that. I would have punched his ass, but you don't put no fucking... Oh, my God, Jesus Christ. I wouldn't touch no fucking butterfly either, though. He's really angry with you, Mia. He's coming for you. Ah, no, Will, please. You better apologize to Mr. Spider. I'm sorry, Mr. Spider. <laughs> He says that the apology is not accepted. Stop it, Will. Go away. <laughs> you better fly fast, butterfly. Ah, no. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> wow, it's been a while since I heard you call me that. I remember the first time you called me that, actually. I remember it, too. It's actually almost... 11 years ago next week, it, it was in Brooklyn Botanic Park, Garden. I don't know why I keep calling it. Haha, ha, we've only been talking for about five minutes and we're already f finishing each other's sentences. Our chemistry hadn't changed at all. Oh well, maybe it's taking a turn uh, for the more romantic kind of chemistry. I was blushing, I couldn't help but wonder if he was thinking about the day he left too. How we said goodbye. I was just about to ask him, but then Kelly walked in. Mia, it's rude to not introduce your friend. I've been standing over there for five minutes now looking like an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kelly. I this is well. Nice to meet nice to see you again, Kelly. It's been a while. Wait, weirdo Will? <laughs> Kelly. Wow, you've grown up. And thank God you came back to this to this day Mia hasn't been able to shut up about you. Kelly, 
Really? Uh, <laughs> how you were first kissed in her first love. Uh, shove her. Put, put, shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Cough trying to cover up what she just said, but it was too late. He definitely heard it. Bob managed to give her an elbow to the stomach before she had the chance to embarrass me further. She was my first love, too. Aww. Oh. Oh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to introduce myself to the new Will. I'll let you two love birds talk. Ta-ta. Aww. Uh, now this is awkward. Kelly, you had to come and fuck some shit up. <laughs> Will was his homeschooled, so we met because our dads attended the same bowling club. We were great, um, and we're great friends, too. People in town called him Weirdo Will because he was very quiet and never really spoke to anyone besides me. He always had his butterflies and moths and encyclopedias with him, and, well, sometimes he was caught talking to butterflies and moths that he found. I was kind of his only friend, and, well, I was kind of... Of known as the girl who lost her mother and the girl who had a slightly weird dad. So I guess people weren't surprised that him and I would get along so well. But Will and Kelly only met a few times for my birthday parties where they were only where they were the only ones invited down. I was actually just wondering if you've forgotten about that kiss. A girl never forgets her first kiss. What? Yes, they do, because I do not remember no first kiss I ever had. <laughs> I said sheepishly. Oh, God damn. Um, I'm happy to hear that. Anyways, I have to get, uh, I have to go get a uniform, but I guess we'll see each other in class sometime. Maybe if you're lucky. <laughs> no, maybe if you're lucky. <laughs> Let's see. See you later, butterfly. See you later, Will. Why can't I call him something? Why he gotta call me fucking Amina Butterfly? I don't wanna be no damn butterfly. This whole situation felt so surreal. I had just met my childhood friend who's grown up to be seriously good looking. I'm sure he'll be popular amongst the girls in school. And honestly... I don't like the thought of him being around other girls. Hell, can't have the teachers. Are we going to get somebody out this fucking ordeal? <laughs> maybe it's just me being overprotective of him as my friend. Or maybe I'm already jealous. I better get to class. It's that simple. You only need to... Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Can I help you? Uh, yes. Is this math? Or are you Mr. Collins? Well, you look at that. <laughs> your childhood lover is going to have math with us. Yeah. You're blushing, Mia. Yeah? Well, of course I am. It's getting way too hot in here. <laughs> Looks like Madeline and Macy agree with you. Oh, God. These bitches. Eminem. All these hoes Eminem from now on. Kelly was right. They were uh, struggling to contain their excitement of having yet another hottie in our class. Vultures. Don't worry. He's hooked on you. I can tell he is. I think he just noticed you being in here too. I looked up and our eyes immediately met. He sent a crooked smile and ran his hand through his hair, making some of the girls giggle. It is, I am, and you're like, I'm sorry, I got lost. What's your name? I'm Will Anderson. I transferred from Washington. Class, this is Will Anderson. Transferred from Washington. As if everybody in the fucking class didn't hear him anyway. And Mr. Anderson here is going to provide us with the answers for exercise 44, 45, okay, 44 through 47 that are due next Monday. What? Don't be late again, Mr. Anderson. Take a seat. Fine.
That was not funny. I don't know why they get people laughing and shit. He sent me a guilty smile and I covered my mouth and cuffed, trying not to laugh out loud. I felt sorry for him. I hope he was good at math. Of course, I could offer my help. I'm pretty good at math and I could explain the exercises to him. I mean, I know what we're working with right now and he just got here. Yes, I wanted to offer my help, maybe because I wanted to ex excuse to talk to him. Let me write him a note and ask him if he's interested. He was sitting six feet away from me. So I threw the note across the floor, letting it slide over to his foot. Um, I can help you if you want, yes or no. Mm -hmm. A crooked smile came over his face as he read the note and he quickly grabbed the pen and answered. Yes, please. I bit my lower lip and smiled as I saw he wanted my help. He added a winky face <laughs> next to the yes, please box, which made my heart skip a beat as I read it. I felt the heat running up my cheeks. I never thought there would be someone in my class. That could take attention away from Daryl, but will manage to make me blush in the presence of what's probably American's ho America's hottest math teacher. Not too shabby, Will. Thank you for offering to help me. Me and Mr. Collins doesn't care that I'm new for sure. No, it. No problem, and yes, he's not playing around, but he's a good guy, I think. He's just got a lot on his plate right now. Sounds like you know him. Actually, I'm living with him. You're what? <laughs> I live with him and his little sister, Kylie, and her living nanny. Oh, why can't he take care of her himself, and where are their parents? Their mom had to leave for Singapore to take care of their grandmother, who's ill. And he's got a lot of work to do, so he can't be with her as much as she needs him to. Well, I guess that makes sense. Isn't it awkward? Mm. Not as much as I feared it would be, but it was in the beginning. Well, that's great. I need the money. I'm saving up for college. That's great. What college are you dreaming of? You want or NYU? Exactly. I want to study cooking. Cool. I can see you doing that. Mia, you won't believe this. Okay, girl. I, 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 I won't. What the fuck going on, child? <laughs> they cut it off on like stuff. <sighs> I, this shit just, this just stresses me out because every time I want to know what the hell is going on, she cut the shit off like the fuck out of here. Alright people, see you next time.